today I'm at Whitton Cemetery and uh, I've come to hopefully find a grave with a bit of respect to the man that gave chocolate, the best chocolate to the whole world and that's uh, John Cabri and his grave is in here somewhere although uh, Whitton Cemetery is the biggest graveyard in Birmingham and it is huge so to find his grave is going to be a bit of a task but I'm going to have a go I must admit that's pretty impressive um, but that's not it that's not John Cabri's grave to be honest I saw the digger and I thought there might be someone that could help me and point me in the right direction or somewhere in the right direction but there's nobody here well this is a pretty impressive tomb uh, but unfortunately it's not John's uh, so the search continues that tomb there is just beautiful but uh, it's a Williams not a Cabri's to be honest I think out of all the uh, tombs I've come across, this is my favourite. I just think it's really beautiful. And the ageing on it and stuff like that. And uh, But unfortunately, once again, this isn't John Cabri's grave. Well, I'm stood outside. I'm not sure if it's a crematorium or what this building is. I mean, there's enough locks on there. I'm not sure if that's to keep people in or keep them out. Well, I've been all over this graveyard now and I can't find John Cabri's grave. I mean, that's a sign of the times, isn't it? Bricking up behind windows to stop people getting in. Or maybe getting out, as I say, is difficult to tell. Now in the photograph I've seen, there looks like a pillar in the back, which I think is that, pointing towards this building here. Which leads me to believe it's somewhere there. But I've looked and I still can't find it. I'm gonna have a little more look and then I'm gonna come back another day. The only thing I've seemed to have found are these crows that seem to be following me everywhere around the graveyard. But uh, I will come back and continue the hunt for John Cabri's grave. I'm back at Whitton Cemetery and from what I've seen from the photograph, you can see houses in the wall from the grave. So I'm going to go around the edge of the cemetery and I should be able to find the grave today, I think. But it's another beautiful day in Birmingham. I know that. So either way, it's a win-win. As I'm going round, that's the M6, the motorway they built on stilts. And then called it Spaghetti Junction. Uh, if you look from above, it really looks like spaghetti. Uh, not about resting in peace, particularly for these guys. It's more like rest with a lot of noise and quite a bit of pollution. There, that's just a wicked view, I think. That's like a horror movie. It'd be perfect, wouldn't it? This tree, the branch has just literally snapped and it's fallen into the graves here. It's huge. And uh, I love that cross. It's Celtic, isn't it? It's Celtic design, isn't it? Well, I've run out of road here, so... Uh, but there is houses down there and the wall continues with the graveyard, so I need to explore down there anyway. So as I've been wandering around the cemetery, I've actually met a guy that says he knows exactly where John Cabri's grave is, so he's going to take me there now. I'm going to follow him on his little digger, and uh, yeah, uh, it looks like uh, the hunt for John Cabri's grave is coming to an end. Well, I finally found it, and here it is. Um, the guy in the little dumper truck helped me. It's uh, Myra Cabri, John Cabri, there's a George Cabri there. I mean, the tree here is literally growing at the grave. And uh, at the back, there's even more from the Cabri family. I'm assuming they're all related. I mean, Benjamin Cabri, uh, Myra, Joel, Elizabeth, Caroline, Emma. So this is how the graves are being kept now. But I don't think the Cabri's family are anything to do with the actual Cabri's business anymore. I'm not sure why the graves are in such disorder. I think it's quite sad to see them like that, considering, you know, what they did, what they did for their workforce and what they created, really. I mean, you know, they, they created a, a multi-million pound business, billion pound business, probably. You know, it's gone worldwide and everybody loves Cadbury's chocolates. And it is, it's part of our culture, I suppose. But these are how the graves are now. I'm glad I've found them. Hopefully, 
done it in a respectful way that people will watch and people will you know appreciate and maybe somebody will come down and give them a bit of attention and a bit of love that I feel they deserve John Capri